Blazeman and I'm back with a at home remedy tutorial facial scrub getting all pretty and your skin nice and clear and beautiful and fresh and glowing and all that fancy stuff for the winter because who wants like yucky skin during the winter when it's already like dry out and cold out you want to be like out there shining shining so um in the scrub today it's going to be sugar honey argan oil and lemon. All the stuff that I use is affo affordable. They have the Jazzy Marin Argan Oil, but honey, 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 honey. I am being a cheap chick during the holiday season because I have to buy everybody holiday gifts. And I bought someone the Jazzy Marin Argan Oil for the skin, hair, nails, all that extra good stuff. So yeah, I know. Oil on the skin sounds crazy, especially if you have acne and like I do have breakouts and stuff. Especially on my chin, I have breakouts. Don't you hate that? Especially monthly lady girl time. Bring out my chin all the time. But um, yeah, this is like easy. One, two, three, and then you're done. Like put it on the face, scrub it. You could also use it as a body scrub as well. And I'm going to take some and leave some in my shower. So like I said, you're gonna need some sugar, some honey, some uh, no, um, oil, a bowl, a spoon. A foundation brush or something else to apply the product so I said sugar honey, and lemon <clears throat> so I'm gonna give you, tell you some of the benefits of the products that we are using because like someone's like why would you add lemon and honey and oil and why would you use that stuff well here's why I use it the lemon I have dark circles under my eyes and I also have acne scarring around my face it's not perfect I'm not perfect thank God I'm not perfect I'd have a lot to live up to if I was perfect. So the lemon, and I did write this stuff down, and it would look, it would probably be better if I hold it in front of me because then it would look like I know what the hell I'm talking about. But no, I read this stuff someplace, and I was like, let me just bring it to the ladies on my channel. So I'm gonna hold it in front of me, like I know what I'm talking about in front of the camera, so that you guys think I'm smart because today I did something that was like a blonde. But yeah. So anyways, um, <laughs> lemon is a natural source of vitamin C. It lightens acne scars, duh. And it evens out skin tone, which I need. And it also tightens pores. I do have large pores around my nose area. Don't know if you ladies who see that. Mm -hmm, that little fancy piglet nose. Um, yeah, I have large pores there. Sorry. Um, sugar, it exfoliates and cleans pores, which I need also. It's great for you people if you have really, 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 really bad blackheads. And it also removes dead skin. You know, we always have that layer of skin. And it just like freshens it up without a... Yeah, just freshens up your skin. Nice and glowing. Like, we need it, okay? The honey is a natural source of antioxidants, which helps with the prevention of aging. And now that I'm getting kind of old, I see wrinkles that don't exist. But trust me, honey, I see them somewhere. So, I will be using it to help with my imaginary wrinkles and to prevent even more imaginary wrinkles and argan oil now why am I putting oil on my skin I already know the benefits of argan oil on my hair which is great because I use it on my hair all the time I use it on my cuticles on my fancy nails now if you have a nut allergy do not use argan oil since it does come from a nut I would switch it out with olive oil which also has vitamin E in it so the argan oil has vitamin E in it it is great for acne, psoriasis, dry skin, yes, eczema, and it also has antioxidants in it for aging. Now, as I said, I'm not going to be using Jazzy Marin Argan Oil because that is super expensive. And I would love to open up someone's Christmas present and use it because I want the Jazzy Marin Argan Oil for my, myself. But I'm going to just let that person open it up and use it. So I have this Argan Oil that I got for my hair and my face, and I'm going to use that. The first thing I'm going to do is take some sugar. And I just pour it in the bowl like so. I'm going to do a lot because I'm going to take a shower tonight and I'm going to use it in my shower. And sometimes like if it's just for your face, I guess you can measure it out just enough for your face like a teaspoon of this and a teaspoon of that. And the reason why I have a spoon is to mix it. That's it. Not to like measure anything because I'm not measuring anything. So yeah. Then I'm going to take some of this oil, one, two squirts, that's it, that's my favorite saying, that's it, and then some honey, enough to coat all of the sugar, and half of a lemon, 
Also, ladies, let me squeeze the lemon. Woo! The heck? Okay. Oh, we'll be okay. You got my eyes. It's all good. It's all good. So, yeah. We're going to mix it up. It's going to be like a nice little paste. I think I want to add more sugar to it. Squeeze the... Look at that. Whoops. It smells so good. The lemon, the argan oil, the sugar, the honey. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. I want to eat it. I can eat it. Look at that. You can add more stuff to it if you want a different consistency. I'm going to add a little bit more lemon and some more honey. And maybe a little bit more sugar just because it is going with me in the bath so that I smell good. So as I was saying, ladies, um, I do something for my nether, nether regions. Um, I exfoliate down below too because my hair grows in curly and I'm at risk of getting ingrown hairs. So this helps prevent ingrown hairs. I didn't say cure, I said prevent. And I also use something called Skin Tight. After I do my little do wop be daddy daddy down there, I do Skin Tight. Skin Tight on top of it. Not all over, because, you know, us women down below need to be careful down below. So, yeah, I put it on my bikini, Skin Tight on my bikini area, and I do this little this on my down below after um, shaving or waxing just wait a day or two into it you don't want to um, do it like right away just like a day or two after waxing and or shaving whatever you choose I'm a waxer all over scared to shave like what if I cut like my leg off or something I'm, like trying to shave my legs so not adding any more oil because I do have acne problems. Oh my gosh, if you girls could smell this, look at that. If you could smell this through here, that would be amazing. Oh, you could also, instead of using one of these, by the way, you could use your hands, a glove. Just make sure your hands are clean because you don't want to put dirty hands all over your face. Because, especially if you're acne prone, you don't want to do that. So, we got our liquid gold in there, which is the argan oil we got our lemon we have our honey and we have our sugar and we're about to get pretty i'm first going to apply it i think i'm just going to use this brush it is a mac 163 brush it's supposed to be used for contouring but i think it's a little bit more packed denser so then i could just like put it on but you want to use a light touch you don't want to go like rough on your face because if you go rough on your face then the anti-aging stuff just might not work I don't know I just made that up but it might not work so yeah we're just gonna put it on our face I'll place it on my face with this but let me move my phone because if I drop honey on my phone and this stuff all over my phone so I'm gonna place it on my face with the spoon this is like a vixen on a budget because us vixens we spend so much money on other stuff like why do we need to be like super expensive other places ladies this smells good and it's like cool on the face this is whoa you see this <gasps> brush it on the face you can use your hands in the shower all of that stuff so I'm just gonna brush it all over my face maybe take my earrings off I always say earrings make a huge difference to your whole entire outfit you could go out looking like crap as long as your earrings are on and your eyebrows are done you look like a million bucks. Maybe not a million, a couple thousand, but like, you know, 
ladies always should wear earrings. Earrings and Just feels so good. It doesn't look pretty. I guess I have a beard. I'd be Santa Claus. This is where I need it the most. It's on my forehead. Mine's just a little thick. I think I squeeze all the juice out of the lemon. But yeah, I could use more lemon. I probably should have used more than half of a lemon since I am going to put it on my body. And I do have a towel on my lap just because I knew I was going to make a mess. So I don't want to put too much by my eye area because I don't want to get like more imaginary premature wrinkles. Let's just see if somebody wants to come and lick this off my face. So this is it all over my face. I'm gonna be right back with you ladies. I'm gonna go wash this off and I'm gonna show you my new fancy glowing skin. I'm back, I put my earrings back on because I looked funny without earrings. So I'm back, um, I went and I washed my face off, completely washed my face off, and um, I don't know if you guys could tell, but there is a difference. Um, all the dry skin that was all up in here has been removed. I get um, really, really dry up in here and I have blackheads on my nose. So the blackheads are, some of them have been removed and I need them removed a little bit more. Um, my chin is much smoother. My skin is so much smoother. So as, um, after I do that with my face, I know you just did a face show with argan oil in it what do you do after of course I moisturize after and I take a little bit of argan oil in my hand not a lot you don't want a lot like I just rub the cap in my hand and I just pat it on my face and up in here on my face be careful around the eye area and make sure you get the lids too. Don't forget the lids. You don't want half of your face being mad. All down my chin, my neck. Just smells so yummy. Like so. So yeah, that is just about it. That's about everything that I do for nice glowy skin to look sexy and stuff when I go to the grocery store because you, you don't know who you're going to meet at the grocery store. Like, I might meet the love of my life or something. I might meet the love of someone else's life and be matchmaker because I have a better luck being matchmaker than actually getting someone for myself. But, um, <laughs> no. So that is what we do. That's it. That's it. Nothing fancy. And my skin is so soft. And so when I cuddle up on my bed tonight with my pillow, it'll say, Gabriella, your skin is so soft. Like, what did you do? So yeah, that's it. Um, I hope you ladies enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. I hope you do that. And like I said, you guys can also use it in there. Not in, because that's don't put any in, anything in there. Just down below. You can use it down below to help with the ingrown hairs and stuff like that nice and smooth and it'll smell good and it'll look good and be pretty in bikinis and yeah so um i hope you guys enjoyed it and this is the product that i was talking about that i also use to help prevent ingrown hairs because my hair grows in um so this is skin tight that i use after i do that little fancy do da dee dee da 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 So, um, yeah. And the reason why some women have ingrown hairs and others don't is because our hair grows in curly. And that causes ingrown hairs. I also know someone who uses this on their legs because they get ingrown hairs on their legs. I don't get ingrown hairs on my legs. 
so yeah and it's also good for razor burn so if you get razor burn like other places it lines up I know people who use it under their arms and all the other fancy stuff and that was purchased by me that's not like a plug that is just something that I saw it is pretty expensive though I don't remember how much this cost but I know that it is pretty expensive when I first saw it I was like what I'm not gonna pay that for this Are you kidding me I'm gonna just use lemon oil and um that was it and witch hazel I used to use witch hazel too but um yeah there's that. So yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this like I said before because I have a habit of repeating myself. I hope you guys rate, thumbs up this video and subscribe and um, I have more videos coming. I was requested to do a holiday tutorial. So I think I'm going to do a holiday tutorial for you ladies. Yeah, and it was requested for me to do it in my English accent which is freaking hilarious because not everybody knows I have an English accent. And um... You guys probably think I'm like crazy, but whatever. Um, so yeah, I used to talk like this all the time when I was like five years old. And I don't know why. Why did I used to talk like this? Because no one in my family knew I could talk. And so then when I started talking, I had an accent. Who does that? So yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, so someone asked me to do a makeup tutorial with a whole English accent. Hilarious. And someone who knows me personally who wants to be like a makeup goddess like myself but yeah super cool right now so yeah um thank you guys see you next time Mwah.